In this comparison project, we will be taking a look at PartyPoker.com and comparing it to Full Tilt Poker. Uh, Party Poker and Full Tilt recently updated their software completely uh, in the last few months, so both are looking and acting fantastic. This is the PartyPoker.com lobby. It's laid out with basically your main navigation on the left here, and you just click on poker and you go to either cash games, sit and go tournaments, uh, or whatever you want. Uh, there's a my account and then there's a, a pretty hefty preferences area now uh, and the cool thing is is that now there's themes and all sorts of things that you can download uh, and even different card decks uh, which really make it kind of cool and really a, a custom experience that you can really uh, have a lot of fun with uh, let's go to the cash games and there's a quick seat option to where it just kind of shoots you right through uh, you don't have to go through the filters and you just go and you're there you just want to be able to table select uh, you can go through all the different types of games here pick your stakes and if you want the jackpot tables or not because there is a bad beat jackpot here and then you just pick on the table and you can either add to your favorites or uh, click on open table so let's take a look at uh, maybe one of the higher stakes games going on uh, if we can find one now it's interesting to note that party poker is the fourth ranked uh, software uh, for online poker in terms of traffic and full tilt poker is the second uh, however there is a, a pretty wide margin uh, by a factor of three there's three times the amount of players on full tilt than there is a party poker uh, but let's take a look at one of those tables and one of these games and this is the classic party poker table uh, this is the one most people are used to and kind of one of the originals of online poker uh, we can uh, take a look at uh, several different ones. They've got one that actually is very close to what they're doing on Sirius now, where it just kind of has an icon, and you don't have these people at the table. But uh, I think a lot of people like this view. It's kind of a fun view, and you can take a look and have your own avatar. Uh, the controls are very straightforward, uh, a little outdated, but um, there has been some nice aesthetic changes in terms of the graphics. You can resize these tables very quickly, uh, and you really, you know, you don't lose too much in terms of the graphics. So. Uh, that's real nice. Uh, so let's go back to the lobby. And you can see there's a lot of sit and goes always going on and a lot of tournaments as well. So uh, the lobby is uh, laid out really well. You can actually click on this and it creates a, a much bigger uh, version of the lobby which uh, neither can be resized. It's either one or the other. Uh, but this bigger one is probably a lot uh, more interesting and, and accessible for those of you with larger size monitors. So that does it for Party Poker, pretty good site, uh, really solid, and let's take a look at Full Tilt. And this is the refurbished Full Tilt Poker Lobby. This recently came out, and you'll see uh, a very well laid out system here and, and great art direction in terms of the way they design this. Uh, you'll find all the kinds of games you're looking for with all the different tabs. There's even a custom uh, stakes here that you can break it down. And then past that, there's advanced filters. And then there's also you can add it as a favorite. So you can make it super easy to find exactly the game you're looking for. Uh, there's 85,000 players right now during peak hours on Full Tilt Poker. So like I said, there's three times the amount of traffic on average, uh, according to Poker Scout at least. And uh, let's take a look at uh, one of these games, one of these tables. So this is the classic view for Full Tilt Poker. Uh, they also use now vector graphics. So if you resize the tables, you won't lose anything in terms of the graphic quality. Uh, and if you click on the options, there's also the racetrack, which is probably better for someone who uses a HUD. And there, if you right click on the table, there's all sorts of backgrounds. Uh, and then there's all sorts of things available as well. Uh, you've got these fun little avatars, which uh, I hate, <laughs> but that's my preference as a regular. Uh, you might like them, you know, it's up to you. Uh, I know some of the high stakes guys still have them and, and like them. So uh, the cool thing is, is that there's the option there. Uh, tournament stuff in terms of you know if you're a tournament player on full tilt poker you're gonna find exactly what you're looking for uh, there's the popular F tops and mini F top series always going on it seems like it's uh, every other month every three months uh, and so there's a ton of things to do uh, whenever you find a tournament you can also double click on the lobby and uh, you can find immediately as we'll see here uh, upcoming satellites and you can find exactly the satellite you're looking for uh, for some of these other events uh, that you might want to participate in and they're always big money big uh, field tournaments going on every day including the seven hundred fifty thousand dollar guarantee which happens every sunday uh, the ring game traffic is really good uh, the players are uh, considered to be a little bit worse than those at poker stars at the comparable levels but obviously the micro stakes players will have a great time the fields are fishy 
Uh, the support at Full Tilt Poker and Party Poker, pretty equal. But we give a slight edge to, uh, to Party Poker because they do have that 800 number available. Uh, but in terms of the, you know, which one's better, it was a close matchup. Uh, Full Tilt did win. You know, there are some advantages here in terms of tournament play and the sheer amount of players on this site for, you know, selecting, uh, you know, what game you want to play at. So, uh, again, Full Tilt Poker, Party Poker, two great sites you should be playing on them both. Uh, and in this close comparison project, Full Tilt Poker does get the edge.